When the territorial dispute over Sabah resurfaced last week, when two overseas Malaysian assets under the control of Petronas, Malaysia's national oil company were seized in Luxembourg, including its gas oil field in Azerbaijan in the effort to enforce the arbitrary award won by the heirs of the Sulu Sultanate in High Court of France. Now it underlies a question, how important is Sabah, not just in the Malaysian economy, but also in the foundation of the Malaysian Federation as a union state. Currently, Malaysian federal government is in chaos in responding to issues, protecting its overseas asset, and its sovereign rights over Sabah. Stay of execution on the 12th of July. Sedangkan final award arbitrasi itu keluar pada 28 Februari. Saya mohon semua MP-MP daripada Sabah dan juga MP-MP lain ini untuk berdiri. Mohon supaya usul ini dibincangkan. They were so confident. The government was so confident back then. Oh, benda ni akan selesai. What happened now? What happened now? We have that habit, um, you know, to to underestimate our neighbours. Yearly payment made even during BN time. We also kami kami tidak aware. So that's why, yeah. bila benda ni keluar, yeah. we were shocked yeah. that there was a payment yep. given to Sulu. When the proposal to form Malaysia was put forward by the Malayan Chief Minister, North Borneo responded with a general sense of misgiving and to a certain extent of mistrust. The people of the state were fearful that Sabah would be dominated by their more developed Malayan counterpart. The fear of being colonized by the Federation of Malaya led Sabahan to be more aware and concerned about their political status and political future. Before joining Malaysia in 1963, measures were taken in form of meetings and surveys but no actual referendum was conducted. However, before committing themselves totally to the merger of Malaya, Sabahan had listed down its conditions to safeguard the certain interests of the states. These conditions are known as the 20 points. This includes no state religion in North Borneo and English should be the official language of North Borneo for all purposes. Sabah is considered as an important state in Malaysian Federation, it contributes $21.8 billion, or around 5.8% of the 2021 gross domestic product of the country. Sabah is Malaysia's second biggest state, both in terms of population and land area, with over 3.8 million Sabahan across states in an area of 73,904 square kilometers. It constitutes, of more than 11% of the Malaysian population and more than one-fifth of the land mass of the country. Its oil and gas industry is one of the biggest in the federation. Sabah has about 11 trillion cubic feet of gas, and 1.5 billion barrels of oil in its reserves, representing about 12% and 25% of Malaysia's gas and oil industry. With major oil and gas deposits offshore, Sabah has long been a key part of Malaysia's hydrocarbons industry, a major driver of the national economy where oil and gas have made up a considerable slice of Sabah's state revenues and the country's economy. Sabah is Malaysia's top crude oil producer, with about 42% of the oil produced in Sabah, while Peninsular Malaysia at 32% and the remaining 26% from Sarawak. While it produced 13% of the country's natural gas, with Sarawak is the biggest producer of gas at around 61%. However, in terms of revenue from sales of petroleum products, it's surprising that Sabah only shared less than 10% despite its producing 42% of crude oil and 13% of natural gas to Malaysia's oil and gas industry. Though negotiation is ongoing, to ensure Sabah's oil and gas rights are well protected and to have a fair distribution of revenue. Sabah and neighboring Sarawak state in Borneo Island, hold much of the nation's oil and gas reserves, and have long asked for more payments from Petronas, the sole manager of the country's energy reserves. In order to obtain more benefits over its own oil reserve, Sabah will now collect 5% of the state tax from the federal government oil company Petronas. In 2021, Sabah was expected to receive 1.2 billion ringgit or around $303 million, as Prime Minister had agreed for the state to collect state tax. 
This is also in compliance on the 20 point of condition where North Borneo should retain control of its own finance, development and tariff, and should have the right to work up its own taxation and to raise loans on its own credit. After the Sarawak government and state giant Petronas signed a key agreement that enables Sarawak, through its own oil company Petros, to play a greater role in its own oil and gas industry through cooperation with the national oil company itself. Sabah is set to follow the lead of neighbor Sarawak in demanding greater involvement in its oil and gas operations and a larger share of the revenue from the state's production. These will ensure more economic benefits from its oil reserve and accelerate its rural industrialization, which lags behind that of peninsular Malaysia. Sabah ranks fourth as the least developed state in Malaysia with a GDP per capita of 26,674 ringgit, almost half of the country's average, contrasting for having the biggest gas and crude oil reserves. Aside from its oil and gas industry, Sabah's palm oil industry produced about 5 million tons in 2020, about 6% of global output, making it the second largest palm oil state in Malaysia. It contributes 1 billion ringgit or $238.7 million to state coffers each year, with plantations spread across 1.7 million hectares. In 2021, Sabah's GDP rose by 1.1% compared to a contraction of 9.2% in the previous year, to record a value added of 78.7 billion ringgit. The services sector expanded by 1.8%, led by the wholesale and retail trade, information and communication, and utility subsectors. The mining and quarrying sector surged by 2.4%, supported by a spike in natural gas activity. The construction sector climbed by 7.9%, fueled by the civil engineering subsector. On the contrary, the agriculture sector fell by 2.4%, owing to a contraction in the crop subsector, primarily on oil palm activity. Sabah's economy is still below its pre-pandemic economic size. The service sector is the biggest contributor to Sabah's economy contributing 47.3%. It was followed by mining and quarrying which contributes 26%, these include its oil and gas industry. Agriculture 15.9% and manufacturing and construction contributed up to 10.5%.